Hi pumpkins, it's Tanya. Welcome back to my channel and to our home. In today's video, I'll be decorating our front porch for fall. Let's get started. I always like to begin by showing you how the porch looks undecorated. You'll notice that we made some changes and tiled our front porch. We also got some new light fixtures. To save time, my husband and I added this garland off camera. We took a grapevine wreath and unraveled it and secured it with zip ties. Then he added some lights to it. After that, he attached it over the entryway of our front door with fishing wire. And then I went in with some leaf garland, some sunflowers, some mums and pumpkins and added them in to fill out this garland. For additional texture, I added in these wispy pieces right here. This arched garland is very organic and not perfect, and I think that's what's so great about it. It has a very natural and rustic look for fall. I always like to begin by adding a beautiful wreath to my front door. Then I like to add a scatter rug. And on top of that, I like to layer in a seasonal rug. If you've been with me, you know that my front porch was right here in this area, right where I'm drawing a line with my finger. But my sweet husband actually extended out my porch for me so I have more room to decorate. I'm so excited. With that being said, we decided to get a longer rug for this area. The next thing we're gonna add in is this large straw bale. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing right over here. Next, I'm gonna bring in this large white pumpkin and this large orange pumpkin. Now I'm going to add in this medium sized straw bale. And now we're going to come in with a medium orange pumpkin and a medium white pumpkin. You'll notice that I stood up this hay bale to create height. And then you'll notice that I laid this one across and that gives it interest because they're not all going in the same direction. I also added an orange pumpkin up here and a white pumpkin down here to create interest and varying colors. I did the same thing on this side, but here I added a white pumpkin on top and an orange pumpkin on the bottom. When you look at them from this angle, you'll notice the white and the white mirror each other and the orange and orange mirror each other. Little ants already trying to crawl around on my outdoor decor. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna come in with some more hay bales, this time the small ones. Then I'll add in some more medium, ah! <laughs> then I'll add in some more medium pumpkins and some small ones. Stay tuned because after we get all these pumpkins placed, then comes all the details. A little side note, yes, I'm leaving my straw bales in the plastic. I've done that in the past and it keeps them nice and neat and I'm able to reuse them for other years after. Now that we've got all of our hay bales and pumpkins in place, now comes all the fall fun details, like this garland and these florals. The next thing we're going to do is weave this garland in and out of our pumpkins and that's going to add some pops of fall colors to our display.
just like so. Now I'm gonna come in with this beautiful sunflower and I'm gonna place it next to this white pumpkin for contrast. Then I'll take this white flower and do the same next to this orange pumpkin. We're gonna do the exact same thing right over here. Okay friends, remember, since we extended our porch out, there's still more decorating to do. The next item's a little heavy. I did feature it in my very first video here on YouTube, so I am going to move it into place and then I'll show you. To the vintage milk jug, we are going to add in some beautiful fall florals. Next, I'm gonna bring in my Hello Fall sign. I could just leave that area alone, but I think it would look cute with this item there. And also, I felt like there was a big gap in between here, so I'm going to fill it in with these very rustic weathered lanterns. The next item I'm gonna use are these beautiful Better Homes and Gardens large white pots. My husband and I happened to be at Walmart and they actually had them for $20 a piece right after 4th of July. Not really sure if they were on sale or not, but we thought for this size, it was a great deal. To the pots, I'm going to be adding in my faux mums. But as you can see, if I put them in there like that, they get lost. So to fix that problem, I am going to add in one of my plant stands. I'll place it right in the center, and then I will add my mum right on top of that. You'll notice that there is some gaps around the pot because it is large and my mums are small. So to fix that, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take these faux mums and use them as fillers inside of my original mum display. I'm simply going to mix them in and it's going to make my mum planter much larger and colorful. Now it looks fuller and more colorful. And I'll just simply spread them out, 
just like that. And now we're going to repeat the process with the planter at the base to add height. And then we're going to come in with our planter of mums and fill that in right on top. Don't forget to stay till the end so you can see the nighttime view with lights. Are you ready for the reveal? All right, my pumpkins, that wraps up today's fall front porch decorate with me video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a like. Please comment down below and let me know what was your favorite piece of decor from today's video. Also, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you can see all my upcoming fall decorating videos in my fall decorating series. If you haven't seen all my fall 2024 decorating videos so far, please check those out. I'll link them in the description below. As always, I thank you for spending a part of your day with me and I hope to see you on the next one. Happy fall, y'all. Bye.